This is To The Point with Michael Williams. And good morning and welcome to To The Point. I'm Matt Sesney in for Michael Williams. This week, Governor Ron DeSantis offering Florida's help at the border. The governor agreeing to send deputies from local law enforcement agencies to Texas and Arizona after the governors in each state asked for additional resources to help patrol the border with Mexico. In a news conference earlier this week, the governor criticized the current administration for their policies and said sending help will benefit Floridians. The bottom line, though, is you are seeing increases in criminal activity, drug trafficking, human trafficking as a result of this failure. Uh, it is both a, a disaster and an emergency uh, what is going on. In so far, only one local agency has agreed to help, and that is the Martin County Sheriff's Office. I sat down with Sheriff William Snyder to ask him why he will send deputies and how this will impact local policing. Sheriff, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Matt. So this week, we know that Governor Sanders announced he was going to deploy Florida officers to the border, uh, the Mexican border, uh, along Arizona and Texas, uh, to police and stop people from entering the United States illegally. Martin County, of course, your county, your department, the sheriff's office, uh, agreed to send uh, deputies. How did all this come about first? Was there a call from the governor? How did you even hear about this? Yes, earlier this week, actually the night before the governor's press conference, I got a phone call from one of the governor's deputy chiefs of staff, and she said the governor is going to move to help uh, the governors of Arizona and Texas on the border and that they have officially asked for law enforcement from other states and that the governor was going to accede to that a request and send uh, law enforcement and she asked me would you commit to sending law enforcement and I said yes I would. So you didn't hesitate on that right? No I thought it for a moment you know in my business you gotta make decisions yeah. and yeah so I, I said yes. Uh, any particular reason why you said yes right away? Have you thought about this in the past? I, well, I think all the time about our, our re relationships with other law enforcement agencies, my relationship with the governor and the governor's office. And so we have a, a Florida Sheriff's Association task force, so it's not unusual for us to get requests to go throughout the state. I have uh, two fully trained rapid deployment teams. And uh, I guess they have experience with borders, right? Because we have the Atlantic Ocean, that's one of your borders here. So it's, I guess it's not a stretch to say that uh, you have experience in this field, or at least your, your deputies do. No, it's not even close to a stretch. We go all the time, we have calls that we have uh, people coming across the, our ocean here and then landing on our coast. Uh, just, I think last week, the week before, we had eight or nine uh, undocumented uh, immigrants come ashore here. So yes, we are a border state, not by any means what's going on in Texas and uh, in Arizona. Okay, so uh, you're not the only sheriff's office to be doing that. I, uh, so far, I think it's Escambia, Santa Rosa, Okaloosa, Walton, Lee Bay, and Brevard have joined in. But uh, no other uh, sheriff's offices in the immediate area around Martin County joined in. Uh, did you consult with those other sheriffs or talk to them about it? No, a decision like this, although I, I, I believe in the biblical concept of seeking wise counsel, I didn't need that counsel. You know, I'm, I'm an elected sheriff. I have constitutional responsibilities. For me, really, it was as simple as this. The governor is the executive head of the state of Florida. And when I'm in trouble here, we're in trouble. We've had a hurricane. We need help. We need troopers. We need fill in the blank. We pick up the phone. We call the, the governor's office. So this was an opportunity for me right. to, to work with the governor. So we've had a couple of days to digest this news. Have you gotten any details yet uh, as to uh, when the deputies would go, how many deputies would go, and I guess a lot of people would be curious as to who, who's going to compensate them for this. Right. Yeah, those, there's a lot of questions here. Let me try to unpack it. I'll answer as many as I can. First of all, we have no specifics yet. Uh, we haven't heard, I haven't heard back from the governor, but I have heard from the Florida Sheriff's Association, task force coordinating team, so they're getting ready. You know, we're, we have already started to address the question of liability insurance. My suspicion ambition will be that if the governor asks us to go, he'll use emergency powers that he has, which will open him up to being able to use state resources. So I don't think that the taxpayers of my county will be on the hook for this. 
Right. Uh, and again, you don't know how many would go, but tell me a little bit about this uh, rapid response uh, team that you have assembled here. Sure. I have two standalone 20 person rapid deployment teams. They, are, they have been trained by uh, Homeland Security, HSI. They're certified. So we, all, we have the equipment. We have everything. When you see, like the Portland police, their whole rapid deployment team just quit. When you see them in the streets with all that gear, that's what we have. We have the same training that they would have. So we've been all over the state. We can, we're, we're trained in natu natural disasters for us, hurricanes, civil disorder, things like that. Much different terrain though, right? Than what you see in yeah. Martin County here. Oh yeah, this, well, if you're talking about what the terrain would be like in Texas and yeah. Arizona, right. yeah, totally different. Uh, so the governor mentioned Martin County specifically in his news conference this week when he was talking about uh, uh, the border. And I guess he was uh, referencing uh, the one uh, the one case you have going on here with Marvin Elon Mendoza, uh, terrible case of what he's accused of right now. Um, is this something that's on your radar, or something that went into your thought process? And, and is, does Martin County have an issue with, uh, you know, with illegal illegal immigrants committing crimes? That, that's an excellent question, and people are asking me. So what people are trying to do is draw a nexus between our going to Texas or Arizona, if we go, and crime here. That's not the way I looked at it. I looked at it this way. The, the governor asked for us to assist him, to assist other law enforcement agencies that were in trouble. And if you watch TV, you see the chaos at the border. I know, I can imagine what they're going through. So, so for me to try to take in the macro, the politics of the border, that's not that's not where I, we're doing this. I'm doing this to help other law enforcement agencies that are in a in a true crisis. So I think ICE uh, last word had about two dozen Martin County inmates on hold. Uh, is that is that number sound about it right? Sounds right. Yeah. 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 And then of course we talked about uh, Mr. Mendoza, who has uh, been accused of home evasion, uh, rape, battery of an 82 year old uh, victim. So it's a it is a terrible crime. Um, but as you said, it doesn't re didn't really influence your decision, his, his case right now, as much press as it's gotten. No, I, you know, for me to try to draw a line between us going, if we go, between us going to Texas or Arizona and crime in Martin County, I think is a stretch. I don't do that. I, I don't play that game. I don't try to justify everything I do by some big overlay. It's a very simple thing. I have highly skilled, highly trained law enforcement personnel, and I have counterparts in two other states that have asked for our help through the governor. And for me, that that's, wasn't that hard of a decision. So how closely have you followed, because this is really national politics, which I think is what surprised a lot of people. How closely have you followed the border situation? Uh, do you think the new administration might be dropping the ball on the border situation? I, I think I follow it as close as anybody. I'm, I'm like a recovering news junkie after the last presidential cycle. So. But yeah, I'm aware, I've, I've seen the videos. You know, the, the, there seems to be chaos at the border. I, I don't know how anybody could look at that, wherever you are on the political spectrum, and not deduce that something has gone drastically wrong. And so, but I'll leave it up to you and the pundits to kind of try to figure who's at fault. Uh, for me, I just like to, I'm, look, I'm a cop. I was a street cop in Miami for 20 years. I've been in law enforcement, closing on 40 years. I do cop work, this is cop work. How we got here, I'll leave it for others to decide. Okay, well I'm not gonna decide whether you're right or wrong on this, but you do know people out there are uh, very divided on this issue, and there are gonna be some people within Martin County who are gonna say, we don't belong there, we shouldn't be involved in this. How do you answer to I, that? Yeah, yeah, people who say we shouldn't be there, I respect their opinion. I think that you can argue it really can argue it both ways. We're local law enforcement, what are we doing in Arizona? Or you could argue the board is out of control, two governors have asked for your help, how in this world could you say no? And, and for me it's as simple as that. Look, I, I'm, I'm into public safety and, and good government and, and order, and I'm not seeing that going on at the border. I don't believe that my rapid deployment teams are going to fix the border. Have you discussed this uh, with the deputies? Are they on board with this? Did you have any discussions with them? Because this is a big ask yeah, for them, have. right? To leave yeah. the state. The only problem I'm gonna have is everybody wants to go. If I, if I ask for volunteers, I have two 20-person teams, I'll get 40 people. 
no question about it. Their cops are action oriented. They they want to be in the middle of something. They want to do the they want to do good. And this is what a great opportunity. They'll look at it that way. I know my guys and my gals. All right, Sheriff Snyder, thanks for your time this morning. Man, it was a pleasure. Have a great day. You too. Martin County Sheriff William Snyder. Still to come, our roundtable weighs in on the decision to send Florida law enforcement to the border.